So uh, we will continue to always give you these. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go live right now. Looks like we are live here in the courthouse right now. Let's listen right here on Live Down from Fox. Or definition clarity that the state had. We did not get the full download that they received until Saturday of Sunday of last weekend after all the evidence was closed. And that's a real problem. Not to mention that since doing our research, the specific AMPT owner's manual says that when using AI to enhance photographs or videos, it is for investigative purposes only. It is not forensically to be used in a court of law and should be labeled as such. Doesn't say that. You're wagging your head no. Is that is that true? The the evidence in this trial does not say that. And I'm concerned because I don't want to get I, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves because right now the jury wants to right. wants to address this. Uh, we'll we'll certainly have to talk about it. I have not um, you know, it was interesting. I, um, along with uh, um, Some of, the, some of the other misinformation about the case that is widespread, and you gentlemen are as aware of it as I am. Um, now they had uh, some people f uh, in the Milwaukee Journal, I, I think I read it, which is the paper that I used to deliver for a few years when I was a preteen uh, in the Milwaukee Sentinel, which are now one paper, um, that they talked to some professors at uh, the two law schools in the state and said it was un uh, odd, I think was the word, but I didn't rule on the motion to dismiss. I haven't even had a chance to read the motion to dismiss. I just got it yesterday. And I really think before I rule on a motion, I should let the state respond. So why anyone would think that it's odd for the judge to sit on a motion to dismiss, I have no idea. Uh, I think that, and the recommended course, I think, for judges, at least that was what I was educated to believe, was that motions to dismiss should be kept under advisement unless they're, they're crystal clear and they have had a chance for both parties to respond, which we didn't have in the heat of the discussion on the day the original oral motion was made. I never heard your side of it in terms of argument. So uh, I'm uh, uh, somewhat astounded, but of course it gets out into the general public. And I, as I spoke about it on the first day of trial, the, the result of the trial should be open to public scrutiny and people should have confidence in the outcome of the trial. I think we can all agree on that. Um, and it's just a shame that irresponsible statements are being made. Um, And as long as I'm talking about it, I guess I'm going to talk about that, too. The um, business about people not being identified as victims. How would you like to be put on trial for a crime? And the judge introduced the case to the jury by introducing you as the defendant and the person who is accusing you as the victim. And then throughout the trial, have all the references to um, to the um, complaining witness as being the victim. Is it so difficult to just use the term complaining witness instead of prejudging what the jury is here to determine as to whether there's a victim and, and uh, whether there was a crime committed? So I don't know what the, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave that comment at that. And then finally, I'm now reading about how bizarre and unusual it was to have the defendant pick the um, numbers out of the tumbler yesterday. And I would admit that I don't know that there's a, a large number of courts that do that, maybe not any. Uh, it, I do it because of an incident that I had in a case I tried in Racine 
Oh, I'm going to say I, I estimated 20 years ago it could have been less than that. It could have been more, but um, it was a it was a big case. I think it was a murder case, but I'm not sure. Um, and there were there was a black defendant, and there were uh, 13 jurors, one of whom was black. And when the um, clerk, the clerk, the government official drew the name out of the tumbler, it was a black, the black, the only black. There was nothing wrong with it. It was all okay. But what do they talk about? Optics nowadays? Is that the word for things? That was a bad optic, I thought. I think people feel better when they have control. So ever since that case, I have, uh, which was, well, ever since that case, I, um, I've had an almost universal policy of having the defendant do the pigs. Well, it had nothing to do with anybody's race or anything like that. And uh, I never had a complaint about it before. In fact, I haven't had a complaint about it here. Um, but uh, some people seem to be dissatisfied with that and uh, people who want to undermine the result of the trial. So that's today's statement on that subject. I do my best to avoid reading anything anybody's writing out there about <laughs> this case because well, we I, know what happens in here. All uh, right. They don't. Well, and sure. I, though, because I've got a. Sure. But anyway. Um, And, yeah, and, and uh, some of the things that have been said, too, I guess I'll comment on that, too. These are f f five very reputable, competent attorneys that I've practiced with for years. And I think it's shameful, some of the things that are being done to these people. And uh, I, 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 when I talked about um, problems with the media when this trial started, that's... The, the, we were there in part, not, not fully, but in part, because of grossly irresponsible handling of what comes out of this trial. I will tell you this, uh, I'm going to think long and hard about uh, live television of a trial again next time. I don't know. I, I, I've always been a firm believer in it because I think the people should be able to see what's going on, but when I see what's being done, it's really quite frightening. Frightening, that's the right word for it. But back to the subject at hand. And I've, I've discussed my disdain for the rule. I, I'm not going to box you guys into accepting what I think is the better way. And I sense from the statements that have been made that I think that in some respects you may even agree with me that it would be better if the jury could. We're going to now have the, the jury will come down here to the courtroom and everybody will be shooed out of here as they should be. And uh, I don't, I'm not even sure we're going to have to review the, the procedure that's been outlined. But they get to watch it once? Is that what the rule is? I think they should be allowed to view what they want to view as often as they want to view it. Subject to my other objection, I don't have a problem with them viewing it multiple times at a certain point. I don't think that's yeah. I don't think that's three or four times. I don't have a problem to sit here and just keep playing it, playing it, playing it. I don't think that's the right way either. Then it's giving more emphasis to one piece of evidence. Well, and and but sometimes there's one piece of evidence which is absolutely critical. And uh, I talked about the Zarnaev case. I uh, I talked about the attempted murder case that I had in here. Um, and, and I don't know how we're going to police this anyway. Uh, and, and the other thing is when, they're be, when it is being policed and someone's watching them talk about it, well, can they freely talk, which is what we want. We want freedom of expression between the jurors. And so as they watch these videos, and to me, if they want to watch it a hundred times, that's them. If it were a bench trial, and I, I've said this before, if this were a bench trial and I put in my decision that I thought that uh, Exhibit 40, 486 was critically important, but I didn't want to overemphasize concentrating on it, so I left my, with questions in my mind about it and decided I better not look at it anymore. I should get reversed. That's an outrageous thing. Uh, but that's what we're 
forcing the jury to do because of the disrespect that the courts have had in this country for the juries. Uh, uh, these are intelligent people. It, they get treated like um, there was a time when the the people educated people in the town were the the uh, physician and the lawyer and the, maybe the school teacher and the preacher. Um, and the rest of the people were farmers. So obviously they weren't as smart as those educated people, right? Wrong. That's never been the belief of the founders of our country. It's never been true. And I think these people are as competent as the educated people, and many of them are educated, uh, to make these decisions. And that's where the founders of our country put the, uh, the power, not with us. <coughs> So I think it's insulting to the jury to tell them that they have to have these uh, restrictions on their viewing. But we're going to we're going to sit down with the books. We're going to find out what the exact procedure is, uh, and we'll await what they want to do. But for now, I will answer: Do we view the videos in private or in the courtroom? And the answer will be in the courtroom. Um, do you need to know the exact exhibit number or? video or photo um, well we, there's two options one is we can just what you can have all of them anyone gasping um, uh, you can have all of them whatever you want you can pick and choose and uh, um, you can uh, or you can describe generally what you want I think the exact exhibit number would be helpful, but if they can give us just a title or a description, we can also figure it out. I agree. All right, so what I'm going to write, you've got copies, so what I'm going to write on here is in courtroom, I better write it now. Yeah. Uh, general description. Uh, General description of what you would like. Is that all right? Yes. The um, only thing I would ask about with regard to your answer, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I'm not sure I heard you correctly about um, if we bring the jury back. You mentioned something about kicking everyone else out of the courtroom, okay. and I, I don't know what you're planning to do. But if you are planning on doing that, it might be helpful to tell the jury that. So they understand that they would be viewing it without the public around. I don't know what you're having yeah, on the good point. That's a good point. I, I, except that I don't know exactly who's going, who are going to be the kickies. Um, certainly, um, all the media and the uh, officers, other than uh, yeah, uh, the media and the officers, and uh, and uh, the question is whether I, the lawyers and the defendant. I don't know what the answer is. We'll have to check that. And. Um, and, and I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. I got the impression, and it's been a long time since I've read one of these cases, I got the impression it was actually supposed to be the bailiff, but I'm not even sure about that. Um, so we'll have to look at that. So I guess I'm going to, I understand that the, 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 it was a good suggestion that you've made, but I'm afraid I don't know an, enough of an answer right now. So I'm going to send this up now. Thank you. All right, we should make a copy of the... Then, Your Honor, can we be excused to go do some research on what you're talking about? Please do. Okay. Please do. All right, there we go. So uh, the jury had a question on some of the video evidence, and it looks like they are going to come into the courtroom here in a, just a little bit, and uh, they are going to be, be viewing some evidence. Uh, the jury has... Some questions uh, as these deliberations do continue. The defense also claiming that prosecutors withheld key evidence in a particular video there. So we are definitely going to keep an eye on this for you right here on Live Now from Fox.